Difficult times for Mick Cook and Drod United, off the field anyway. Three days after snatching a late equaliser, the Premier Division side had another tight tussle with their first division rivals. David Cassidy had the best of their first half chances. But once again, Finn Harps posed problems. Keith Cowan had Michael Schlingerman on full alert. It took the top flight side five second half minutes to break the deadlock. Ryan Brennan did well to hold up the ball. Shane Grimes and Cassidy then combined to open up Harps. Despite a decent cross, it took a couple of attempts to convert. But cold poacher supreme Declan O'Brien eventually got the vital touch to put Drogheda in front. Then a moment of controversy and perhaps even game changing. If not, certainly game settling. The referee not happy with where Harps were taking a mid-pitch free kick. Harps not happy with Cassidy's challenge. And Drogheda in turn not happy with Michael Funston's reaction. Lots of pushing and shoving ensued. And a few more theatrics too. And when it all eventually settled down, the referee singled out Damien McNulty, who had appeared to be the first to push. He booked him, which was his second gel of the game, so Harps were now down to 10 men, with 19 minutes still to play. Still, it took Drogheda until two minutes into stoppage time to make the extra man count, but when they did, they made it look easy. Brennan could have gone alone, but with Cassidy free outside him, he was taking no chances. The manager won't be around next season, but Mick Cook has taken Drogheda to one cup final, and now, at least, to another semi. A 2-0 win for the Premier Division side, but another big display from Finn Harps leaves them with nothing except perhaps a bitter taste. And there is the completed lineup for this season's semi-final stages of the FAI Ford Cup. Drogheda United at home to local rivals Dundalk and Sligo Rovers host Shamrock Rovers and both games will be live here on RTE2. Well, earlier